Hey everyone, um, so I'm going to continue on with my alphabet series. Every other video is going to be the alphabet series until I finish that one. <clears throat> but yeah, now we're on to H's. I think we're like close to like getting close to like halfway through now. And like, I don't want to end this one because like, it's what I like doing because it's very easy for me to like research and stuff like that because I just look in my OB's name book you're going through an alphabet order and you don't have to then put an alphabet order and then research and then all that. So it's just easier, this one, it's just one of the easiest ones to do. <coughs> it then saves a lot of time which means I can get them done quicker so I can get more videos done and that sort of thing. But yeah, anyway, so now we are on to the H name and oh God, no, I don't look up because my like, glasses get you can just end up seeing the screen my glasses. Um but yeah. So on to the girls I always do a first journal I but my first name for girls is Hallie and Hallie is a German name meaning high spirited. Then second is we have Hannah and then Hannah is a Hebrew name meaning merciful and blessed. Then my third name is harmony and harmony is a Latin name meaning symphony and it is a perfect name for music horses. And uh, no, with it, I think I said sympathy. It's a, I don't know what I said, but it means in synchrony. I am sorry, but I, I think I'm talking about like you know those big orchestras. I think that's when they create a song. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Symphony. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I think that was what I was trying to say, but no, it's not actually symphony, it's in synchrony. I'm sorry about that. I I'm I lost my head if it wasn't screwed on basically, yeah. Um but yeah. Number four, Haley. Well Haley has like so many different ways of spelling it that are common. Um I know my sister has three friends who are called Haley and none of them have it spelled the same way. And I thought Abby was bad. Um, but yeah, hay is an English name and it means natural and hay meadow. Then we have hazel. Now hazel is an English name meaning powerful, that's what it says in my baby name book. But I also know it's a colour name and it's like, it's my eye colour, but I don't really, really tell my eye colour in there. But it's like a brownish greenish sort of thing, um, that's what hazel is. Then sixth we have Heidi and Heidi is a German name meaning noble, watchful and perky so like bright and happy and that and upbeat so I, I, I like that name and I like that name meaning it's quite happy. Um, then we have Helena and um, now you can pronounce it Helena or Helena Um I know if you, if you know someone called Helen you tend to call it Helena but if you know someone called Elena you tend to call it Helena. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I just want to call it Helena, I don't know why, I think it's because I'm British, we tend to use the, like, vowels and, like, the lowercase, like, vowels, like, the, when you first learn, like, at, the, curve, the, yeah, we, we tend to say vowels like that, rather than a, 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 u in our words, so I think that's why I want to say Helena. Um, but yeah, Helena is a Greek name that means beautiful and light, which I think is a beautiful name meaning. I love names that mean um, beautiful and that. Um, next we have health there. Now I had to put health in when I saw it maybe in book because it's one it's Scandinavian which is where frozen is there and two it sounds so similar to Elsa. So it's perfect for those people who like you know like the Disney Princess names but want maybe make a bit of a change in it. Um, I do love the movie series I think it's one of the best Disney movies ever. I think the song is so catchy. And I love how it doesn't teach girls that you have to wait for your friends to find you and it shows that the sisters work together. But by now I am getting tired of seeing it everywhere. I am so thankful I am not only in England when I was in when it's Halloween because I know I would just only get kids trick or treating, wearing frozen costumes, which yeah, okay, kids dress up as what you want for Halloween, but I I think you should be dressed up as that something scary for Halloween, not a Disney princess. But yeah, let's do that, so anyway. This name, well, number seven, is Helsa. And Helsa is a Scandinavian name meaning God loving. Then we have Hermione, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned Hermione in my channel, 
channel earlier on in my Harry Potter name before I did that about a year ago I think so I thought no harm in bringing it up again and it is a Greek name and it means sensual then we have Hope and I love Hope because it's a virtue name and I love virtue names really I love it like you know, the meanings behind virtue names but yeah Hope is a, vir um, a virtue name and it's English and it means optimism so being like hopeful for the future and stuff like that so then my girl's name my favourite of all those girl's names Hannah, but it is on my guilty pleasure list, um, so yeah, it doesn't stop me from saying it's my favourite on that list. Um, then on to the boys now, um, I have two names here, but I will explain why later on, um, but yeah, first name is Hadley, and Hadley is an English name, meaning lover of nature, then we have Harley, now Harley is an English name meaning well pivoted. Then we have Harris. Harrison, sorry, Harrison. Um and Harrison is an English name and it's an English surname. I've heard it quite a few times as a surname. But it is also a first name and it means Harry's son. Then we have Harvey and Harvey is a German name and it means fighter. Then we have Heath and Heath is an English name in the is an English name meaning open space and natural. Um I love that name and I love its meaning because um when I think of Heath I think of Heathcliff and that's like and it, it's a really good book in my junior series, it's a good book. Um yeah, so and it, I think the open space is natural because it's set on the moors. Blue and Heights, I think he did it here for me. So, like, anyone who likes the Grand Pieces, Blue and Heights, stuff like that. Because it's not in the meaning of the name, but because it's the most character name. Then we have Henley. And Henley is an English name meaning surprising. Now we have the two names together. And this is Henley and Harry. And that is probably because to me, they, I think. Out of all the HMCs and the ones that uh, I hear most for boys, it's Henry and Harry. Um, but they do, but they do have the same name. I mean, we do have the same meaning and the same um, origins. So I have put them down as one because it didn't make sense to put them as two, and that way I can add another name that has a different me meaning as well and origin that maybe someone might not have heard of. So, yeah. Henry and Harry are German names and they mean leaders. So that's like the type of name to someone who's very strong role and you know, you know, he's got good leadership skills as I'm trying to get that across but there's no word to say without sounding obvious. Um yeah. Then we have the name Howard and Howard is Howard is an English last name, it is very very slash name. We have a Queen of England with last name Howard. Um and it is an English name meaning well like is you know last name is coming to a name as well. Um then we have Hugh. And Hugh is an English name meaning child intelligence and I really like you know, I like that name Hugh. I think it's really coming into fashion more because we do have few celebrities called Hugh and um it's got a nice name as well, so yeah. Then finally my last boy's name is Hugo and Hugo is a Latin name meaning spirited heart. So then I, I think that's a perfect name for someone who's got to have a personality. And my favourite out of all those names, I probably have to go for Henry is one of my, is my favourite. I know that's very, you know, it's not very original because that is probably one of the most popular on there. But that's my favourite name. But um, <coughs> uh, boy, on that list. So I hope you liked this video, please um, let me know what your favourite H names are, whether there's any that you really like that I've missed out on, the, on this list, or what your favourite songs are on this list. Just let me know, because I'd love to see what you all think, and I will be back on soon. Bye. Hey everyone.